Praise the Lord, everybody. It's your girl, Minister Michelle Wooded, bringing you another testimonial Tuesdays with this dynamic woman of God. Y'all, I am so excited. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul ah, shall make her boast in the Lord and the humble share here thereof. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I don't know about you, but I've been so excited about this woman of God that we have here. <laughs> To God be the glory. She is so amazing. She is just so awesome. And everything that she does, y'all, first give an honor. Let me slow down because like I said, I'm so excited. But first give an honor to my Lord Jesus Christ and my Savior. And to my Bishop, Bishop Glenn A. Staples. And of course, my pastor, senior pastor, Pastor Walter Lamar Staples. And of course, our very own First Lady, Aisha Staples. Y'all, to God be the glory. This woman of God that God had laid on my heart to reach out to it, and, and it's so crazy because I met her off the humble. I'm serious. It's so crazy. I met this young lady off the humble. She had posted a picture and I adored it and I just hit like and I was like, oh, this is awesome. And then from there, our relationship just it, it, it just went further. And before you know it, she was speaking words in my life. I was speaking words in her life. And then God just say, ask her, ask her. I said, well, to God be the glory. You the one said you was going to give me the name in the faces. But it's just so amazing how this young lady, I mean, I, I, I'm going to get further into it, but I want to introduce to some. If you're there, please click tag and share. Start a watch party because you don't want to miss this testimony from this prophet of God right here. I'm trying. Oh, I'm going to hold my mule. I'm going to hold my mule, but I'm going to bring her on now. I introduce to some and present to others our very own. And y'all already know when I say ours, that's because you part of testimonial Tuesdays. Our very own prophetess, Stephanie Mathis. Give her a round of applause, y'all. Show her some love. To God be the woman of God. How are you doing? You're looking wonderful. You're so amazing. Amen. I'm doing awesome. Thank you for this opportunity on tonight. Listen, I give all the honor and all the glory to our Lord and our Savior on tonight. Yes. I have been in this place of feeling super excited. Yes. Um, not just because I'm here on this platform, but because the Lord himself is up to something great. And I am just in so sensing and so uh, in the place of anticipation of what he's about to do now. Yeah. yeah it's I now. See, you don't start it. It's now. It's, it's now. now. It's now, woman of God. Let, let me, for those who might not know her, her name is Prophetess Stephanie Mathis. She, um, her and her husband, El Duray, th their church ministry is Triumph Ministries, 3525 Candom Highway, Dazelle, South Carolina, 29040. Yes. I promise you, y'all. Now, y'all know I don't travel much and don't do much, but I'm following this young lady. And I'm when this pandemic is over, she's going to start seeing me in South Carolina. I know she's going to say, Michelle, what you doing down here? But I'm uh, here to I'm here to support and I'm here and just just to be helpful is in any form but to god be the glory this young lady she's going to celebrate if i can say this she's going to celebrate another birthday yay yeah. <laughs> Give her some thumbs up. Give her some hot shot. She's about to celebrate another birthday this December the 3rd. And, and also she has an assignment in Atlanta, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, this coming Saturday. So this woman is very busy. And I'm just going to start promoting her stuff. She, uh, she has already written several books. And matter of fact, let me just put this up here. She has already written several books. I want you to, uh, as I put it up here, go and purchase her books. You can get them at Amazon, tapping into the prophetic whale. And then she also has the mask of the first lady. My God, yes. that, that's a 
speaks volumes all by itself. I'm scared to even ask. And then the <laughs> Kingdom Woman, the Kingdom Woman book is not in Amazon as of yet, but it's coming soon. You better stay tuned for that book. But the other two, as you can see it strolling down on your stream, are already in Amazon. Y'all go be a blessing to this young lady. And she's already written more books. I'm gonna let her explain that. She has her books with her. Woman of God, do you mind uh, displaying your books for the people of God so they can see the cover so they will know where to go and get it? Y'all be a blessing. I'm telling you, these. she is so powerful. She brings the fire. <laughs> she God. brings Glory. the fire. And I told you already how we met. It's nobody but God. We met off the humble. And she's so humble. She's so humble and kind. I haven't met her personally face to face, but her spirit alone carries. So just be a blessing. Just be a blessing. Woman of God, if you don't mind showing your books for us so they'll know what, what the, um, the book cover looks like. This one right here is the masking for the first lady. There you go. Woo! My God. And then if you don't mind showing us the second one. There you go, tapping into the prophetic well. When I tell y'all, better go get these books. Y'all better be a blessing. And then the last one, here we go. The a kingdom woman's book. Yes, look at that cover. Look at that cover. Okay. Oh my goodness, to God be the glory. I'm not gonna hold the people and prophetess. I'm not gonna hold you any longer. First of all, woman of God, I am truly blessed that you said yes. Yes, ma'am. And that you are 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 just, I mean, the place that God have you, that, you know, he's using you mightily in every area, in every platform. Yes, and and to be and to be on this platform, little and I can say this because it's me, little old me, I am truly honored, woman of God. This young lady has also been on the word network with Bishop Greg Davis. I'm telling you, y'all better go follow this woman because she's very powerful. She has already blown up and you don't want to miss it. She's going to do some marvelous and powerful things in the future. So I want you to click tag and share and be her friend, be friends on Facebook. I'm telling you, follow her ministry because she's powerful. Follow her ministry, not only because she's powerful, but God has called her to the forefront. And not only that, she's anointed to go further. I'm not going to hold this any longer. I, I got all my spill out. And as we dialogue, woman of God... <clears throat> My first question is, I mean, how did you come to know Jesus in the free pardon of your sins? If I can be transparent, um, this is going to help somebody tonight. Um, come on now. You said, how did I come to knowing Jesus Christ? Um, I did not grow up in a home um, where we went to church. Um, so you're saying, where, how did you become this prophet? Or how did this mantle um come upon you well my mm -hmm. mom my late mom um and my stepdad uh were club owners and my father um was uh, a deployed he was a military man and so um i would go every weekend to my grandmom's house and that's my father's mom and i would mm -hmm. go to my auntie which is his sister and so when i would go to church it was when i went to my dad's mom house and so okay. as i begin to grow um you know and get older in life um i noticed that i wanted you know to know more about jesus i wanted to know more about this lord this god that that they are talking about so just make a long story short um i really really did not come into knowing it and th this might blow your mind did not really be come into really being saved until 2004. Mm -hmm. But I knew of the Lord. I knew, okay. you know, heard of the Lord, went to church. And if I can be honest, it was very religious. Um, you could hear um, a, a frog in, in the church. That's how quiet and just how dead it was. And mm -hmm. so when me and my husband moved <coughs> to Greensboro, North Carolina, I had my first, first encounter. I got saved then. I got saved. I'm going to say this. I, I was in my husband's church. Um, 
their family church. And I was over 24 praise dancers. My stepmom, I see she's on here tonight. She was one of my praise dancers. And so um, just being in, in, the, in the religion, and it was very religious. And so, like I said, I did not come into knowing the Lord Jesus Christ until being fully introduced and encounter a uh, literally a spiritual encounter was 2004. Got okay. Saved and, and got filled with the Holy Ghost. And I'm telling you from there, I had a long and a thirst for more. Um, I'm, I'm not knocking any denomination, but I'm talking about me, my encounter, mm -hmm. my experience. And so I knew it was something more. And then I, I, I was having dreams and um, seeing things and, 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 and hearing um, things and saying what I heard. And these things would literally manifest Minister Woodward. And so now I'm not really in the fullness of understanding what I was carrying, carrying a prophetic gift. Carrying My God. a prophetic and anointing, not knowing. And there was no one around me that could birth this thing, that could cultivate this thing, that could bring life to this thing. Come and on now. Took, yeah. And it took me and my husband to actually move to Greensboro, North Carolina uh, by secular profession. I am a cosmetologist and my mm -hmm. husband is a barber. And so okay. we moved to Greensboro, North Carolina for a a uh, very well-known hair care company. And we were one of the first husband and wife team that ever platformed. And so they moved us to Greensboro. And so uh, I came in contact with the woman of God who then became my pastor, came up, became mm -hmm. my pastor. And so uh, she first told me, she said, you're a prophet. My I wasn't, I minister Michelle, I wasn't even a minister. I was barely saved. And she said, you are a prophet. She, she called seen, you out. She seen what was housed inside of me. She mm -hmm. identified what I was carrying. And 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 listen, I went through uh, six, seven, eight months um, under her ministry. Came back home, uh, and and God had already done. I mean, God did a work in me and my husband. It was seemed like it was years that he. It took him to do, but I'm telling you, the dreams was intensifying. Me hearing the voice of God was intensifying. And so I, I thank God that I was saved um, in her ministry. And so that's where I can honestly say when I came to, to the knowing of Jesus Christ. You know, I'm not going back to all this religious stuff. I was in my mom's right. church with grandma. No, I'm not talking. That was religion. That was tradition. And I went, when we did when it got spring, not baptized, sprinkle, that's because somebody pushed us to go in the front of the church. But I'm talking about when I went uh -huh. and got baptized in the name of the Father, the Son. And listen, I'm the talking about and came Woo. up speaking. I'm listen, I'm talking about say for real. Yeah. And so that's my experience of coming into the knowing of Jesus Christ. Well, I'm so, woman of God, I'm so grateful that you answer the call, not only, you know, on in your life, but also answering the call for far as ministry going forward and recognize that another one saw the gift that yes. was on your life, saw yes. the mantle that was on your life. I'm just, I'm just so pleased. And, and I know we all been through a lot of things. And I heard you say you, you and your husband transitioned to uh, Greensboro, South Carolina. And I mean, I know it was hard because, first of all, you you had to accept the calling. Right. <laughs> you had right. to accept the calling. And something that you said sparked in me when you said you had to birth it yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, in that birthing process, explain to us what you actually had to go through hearing the voice of God saying to yourself, is this what he's really saying to me? Is, mm -hmm. is it going to manifest itself? How is it going to come to pass? How is this going to come to fruition? Because that in itself is a testimony. Absolutely. And so I want you to encourage someone who, who may be dealing with that same thing yes. and let them know that the voice that they hear, they ain't crazy. They are not crazy. Right. That's one thing that I, I even to this day, uh, Minister Woodward, till this day, it's stuff that I don't say. I have to write a lot of stuff down 
because mm -hmm. people will think that you are crazy because things that you see, things that you hear, uh, things that you see in visions. And you say, I had to birth this thing. I did. I had to birth this thing because uh, with you saying that there's so many people that was around me um, um, that really didn't uh, have had what I had. And so mm -hmm. I had to birth it in a, a place of, I'll say a dry place. Uh, you ever heard of when you go into labor, you got dry labor, you got dry labor. Uh, mm -hmm. It's almost like your water had already broke and, and that's a painful labor. But it was in a it was a dry place because I really didn't have people around me that was prophets that was speaking into me. I don't know whether it was because of intimidation. I don't know whether it was because they saw it and they didn't want it to be developed. But let mm -hmm. me tell you something. When something is in you, the Lord Come on said, here. according to his word, he said, uh, he said, what's in us? He said, I will complete that thing until the day of Jesus Christ. And so he will not leave us half birth. He will not leave us in a half process. Whatever he sees that's in us, it's going to be developed fully. And so I wasn't Ooh. going to uh, have this thing to be birthed prematurely. This, this gift was not going to be breached. I was going to fully birth this thing. And I, I believe this, Minister Woodward, that the Lord took me on a long path is because sometimes we as, as people, we, we get the gift, we get the, the office, and we think it's ours. Listen, this is not mine. I'm just the conduit. I am just the vessel. I'm just the person that's the messenger for him. And, and I believe that God took me through the process to allow me. And listen, the process, it wasn't easy. Everybody, Come on the, now. everybody see the glamour. Everybody see where she's at now. But I had to go through a process that was not pretty. I had to go through a process that did not feel good. I had to go through uh, even rejection. I had to go through abandonment. I had to go through so much. I had to go through so much stuff that everybody see now. Oh, Oh, look a prophet is old but don't, you don't know what prophet has had to go through you don't know the nights that i cried the nights that i asked god why i have to be like this why i can't be like them because when god is doing something in you and making you unique and defying you for his glory you cannot be like it everybody else you cannot fit in you're going to have to stay in the bank until it's time for you to come out you're going to have to go beside the brook and you're going to have to stay to that place so he said it's time for you to move to the next place and i think i think personally is that when we get the anointing we get this this gift and we get this calling we think it's all about us but one thing that i realized i told god from the beginning of this walk that I will always give you glory. I will always say that it was the Lord. You know, yes, because God. it couldn't have been nothing about me. I didn't come from a church family. I didn't come in re raised in the church. So this had to be nothing but the Lord. The Lord did it in Stephanie. The Lord did, did it for Stephanie. And he's continuously to do it. Why? Because low is the place. And I've learned that in your low state, you can't go no place for higher. That low place is in prayer. See, everybody, they, they want the gift and the calling and the anointing, but they want to skip the place of prayer. They want Come to skip on the here. place of seeking the Lord. They want to skip the place, hallelujah, of getting to this, this, this dimension and these realms so quick. But listen, yeah. before you get to that place, you're going to die. You're going to die. That's why I wore blacks tonight. Because some people, you want to be seen. You, you want everything to be glorious. But shape. you got to die. And if anybody know in ministry, that color black, you, 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 all of us have to continuously to die daily. Die to the flesh. Die, die to, to the, the arrogancy. <laughs> die to the pride. Die to the lust of the flesh. Die. And yeah. I die. I yeah. die. I die. And guess what? In the dying process, it did not feel good. In the dying process, I lost some friends. I lost some family members. I lost some people along the way. But guess yeah. what? I am satisfied. Because it's for God. <laughs> it's for God. That it's for God. place 
A birthing situation is not pretty. A birthing place is ugly and it's messy. If you've ever been in a delivery room, a um, birthing place is messy and it's ugly. And you don't know how long you're going to endure the pain. You don't know how long it's going to take you to push. You don't know how many minutes it's going to take you to get another push. Only thing you know is you're in labor. Ah! That's all you know. That's all you know is that I am in labor. And can you text your friend and say that I am going to have Raylan at 1059? No, only thing you can say is I am in labor. And we are still yet in labor. You're in labor. I'm no. in labor. Everybody that's going to be in labor. Yeah. Sean is in labor. Faith Sean is in labor. Jolene is in labor. But many times we get stuck in between the pushing and we got to bear down and that's another thing we don't want to bear down the bearing down is where you got to get some more uh, uh strength you you got to bear down you got to get another push and sometimes you need somebody to hold your hand i remember when i was in the delivery room with my spiritual daughter ashley and and, and, and this listen she was already in labor i told i told god i said god don't let her have the baby till i get there and listen, I was in the laboring room, sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting. And, and they didn't even know that I was in the laboring room, in the waiting room. But let me tell you something. She was in labor for so many hours. But when the but when the midwife came on the scene, God help me. When Come on I came here. On the scene with the glory of God. Listen, the doctor said, where have you been? I began to coach her. I was the doula. I began to coach her. I began to tell her, breathe, Ashley. I began to tell her, listen, Ashley, breathe. And I began to pray and speak in unknown tongues. And you need somebody to coach you through your birthing process. You need somebody to hold your hand during your birthing process. Mama, Mama, listen, you. you can stop and there can be a breach. Yeah. You can stop and there can be a stillborn. You can stop unless you can die along the way but i'm talking about a spiritual birth in here tonight because Come on here. Have walked away as you've been giving birth many walked away they see your anointing they see you as a prophet they know who you are and they walked away and expected you to die in the birthday oh my god in the birthday the birth and this place got to be sterile this place, minister, a wood, it got to be a sterile place. Listen, Come you on, don't go yeah. in the hospital and go in a, a contaminated room. You, you don't can't go in do a it. contaminated atmosphere. I, I love it. It has to be sterile. You it can't go into be a, a contaminated place. Absolutely. It has when to be God sold. began to, well, my man, Diosha, woman of God, you gave us so much and I didn't want to stop you. And I'm, I don't even know why you stopped, but you, you gave us so much and you speaking so profound. When God began to use you, you got to go into a place of isolation. You got Absolutely. to go into a point of, of, of a place of birthing. My God, woman of God, you talking tonight and you setting someone free. You set someone free because I know that I too and me too, like you said, it's a birthing place. Yes. And people people might say you think you're crazy, but you know what you heard from God. Yeah. <laughs> and, and when you're in that birthing place, when you're in that birthing place, there's only a limited of people that can be in that atmosphere. Oh my there's God. There's only a limited people that can be in that atmosphere you, so spirit. as it in the natural so is in the spirit. in the spirit and so there's only a limited people that can be in the midst of a uh in your circle that's around you while you are birthing listen because everybody not going to see that god is calling you to a higher place everybody not going to see that you are going to another realm everybody not going to see that and so with that being said you you only have a select pe uh, people select few people that can be in that atmosphere why because they can kill the baby they can kill what's coming they can speak words of death and listen that's why you got to be so careful how we actually write our script we got to be so careful what comes out of our own mouth you got to be right. so careful that you can write your own season with your tongue and you got to be so careful that who's in the delivery room is waiting for this baby to come or they are there in agreement that they want this baby to live come on you got to be in an atmosphere where you know people are in agreement with you people have the same kingdom mindset people yeah has the same agenda <clears throat>
And if they don't, and if they don't, you can carry this baby for a long time and nobody see that you know what that baby been locked up in you that baby mm -hmm. been due that baby is past due you went over the trimester you went over the 42 weeks when are you going to deliver you ever no! seen anybody you ever seen anybody minister woodward come out here you ever seen anybody you seen them five years ago and they told you i'm waiting on god i'm just mm -hmm. waiting on god <laughs> listen you ain't waiting on god god waiting on you and and, and, and it's so it's so amazing how how the religious words just flow out of their mouth child i'm waiting on to hear god where the prophet told you that you gonna preach the prophet already told you that you the prophet listen your pastor already told you what are you waiting on to push see you got too many people in your laboring room you got the wrong ah! people in your ear you got the wrong people in your atmosphere bullshit. you got the wrong people oh it's not time for you to go yet what you in a hurry for what you trying to do that for listen you got to be able to identify visual discernment what are you talking about properly you got to see you got to discern visibly it's, yeah and, and, and discernment is in is in these five senses it's in these natural five senses i smell a demon i sense a demon I, I feel like a demon is in this room i see the demon i hear the demon the same senses in the natural is uh, is activated and emotion in the spirit but you got to be able to put it to work yeah talk woman of god well i'm just waiting on god I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just waiting on to get the okay. You're not waiting on to get the okay because God already spoke it in your spirit. God had already told you to do all of these different things. And listen, it just don't have to be in ministry. This can be in the marketplace. There is somebody on here now that is watching us live that's in the marketplace. And the Lord can use them as a conduit in that place to break barriers, to break in and get in the gate and be able to change things on the behalf of them. You know, even with that being said, um, Minister Woodward, don't you know that some of us are a door for somebody? Come on here. Don't you know that some of us are a door for somebody else? My One of my spiritual daughters, and I'm not gonna call her name, she just got a spot on a radio show. And she's so excited because God is doing this thing. And I want to say this. Listen, I, I had to go through the door first. She said, Prophet, you think it's time? Listen, it's time for you to do this thing now. So I had to go through the door first. And, and guess what? She's through the door. And she can be a door to somebody else. But the thing about it, we as the people of God, we got to shift our mindset. We got to shift our perspective. We got to shift our agendas and our motive and say, why do you want to stand at this door? Listen, we know that he is the door. We got yeah. to knock. Hallelujah. And some of us tonight, we've been standing at the door and we have not knocked yet. And he's waiting, hallelujah, for somebody to knock and for you to enter in to your next dimension, for you to enter into your next di uh, di uh, dimension and your next level. And so yeah. you are standing at the door and you are looking this is the season that you look no more you got to move towards that thing you got to put some action and the action is the knocking the action is the knocking you got to put it to work you've been talking too long you yeah. said you was gonna do it. You, you said you was gonna write the book you said you was gonna finish school and a cloud of witnesses has already been a witness and heard you said it and they're waiting for you to produce what are you waiting on tonight that is the question I got for every blood washed believer, every 600 viewers that's on this live tonight. I want to prophesy to you. What are you waiting on? To My God. What are you waiting on to get those contaminated people out of that delivery room? What are you waiting on to answer the call? What are you waiting on to establish your own business? What are you waiting on to reconcile your relationship with your, your marriage, with your spouse? What are you waiting on to forgive these people? What are you waiting on? Time is of essence. Yes, it Time is. Time is critical. Time is running out. The season is getting late. The season has already changed. And some of you got on a overcoat and it's summertime. Some of you got on a bikini and it's winter time. Some of you got on, hallelujah, spaghetti straps and you need on a coat. So I say to you tonight, your season has already changed and you need to change your garments because your mantle has already changed. God, I feel yeah. your glory. Your mantle has already changed. God, I feel your glory. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 
Ghost. Hallelujah. My God, my God, the mantle has already changed. He said, yes, take off the garment of heaviness and put on the garment of praise. Yep. My God, That's woman, it. you talking, you freeing someone. You're freeing someone. My God. My and, God, and let me, my let God. Let me say this. Let me say this, uh, Minister Woodward. I can remember one thing that actually allowed me to stay in a place before I really, really answer the call. I want to help somebody get free tonight because you know, sometimes this is what it is. It is sometimes, well, you know, uh, this is what we do. We try to assess ourselves of people. Yeah. You, 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 you know what? Many of us need to be delivered tonight from people. Yeah. And, and when I say this, because most people that are judging us, and you remember the Bible says in Matthew 7 and 1 that we cannot judge unless we will be judged in the same the manner. Same and so Come we on, got man. to understand that there is nobody here on this earth can judge nobody. Nobody. And so with the stage being set tonight, nobody can judge. And so let me show you something. I can remember even when I knew I was called to preach, I kept putting it off. I kept putting it off. I kept putting it off. And this started happening. And that started happening. Listen, some of this stuff is not the adversary. God is trying to get your attention. And Come God on, will yeah. allow some things to occur, Joel. Thank God you, Holy will God. allow some things to happen, Hannah. God will allow some things to happen, Sarah. God will allow some things to happen. Come out here. And so some of you are tonight. You are literally saying it is the adversary. But God himself, he said according to his word, he said he does nothing unless he re uh, reveal it and to the servant his prophet. And so I say this to you tonight. God has peeped your card. God is calling you. Mama, right Mama, now, because what has happened, we have sat back and we've gotten comfortable because your family member not going to believe that he called you to be a prophet. Listen, I had a lot of stuff said about me. I had a lot of stuff this testimony night. I had a lot of Come stuff on said now. about me. Let me help somebody out before I became the preacher because I was not raised in the church. I what? said prior, uh, my mom and my stepdad had a nightclub. So yeah, you this did. Is what I knew how to do. Let me tell you what I knew how to do. I knew how to carry a beer to so and so and car. I Come knew on, how to yeah. make that change. I know how to take a Lucy, a cigarette. Yeah, I knew how to do that. I knew how to sit amongst the grown people and and play cards and gamble. I knew how to to throw dice. I know how to throw. Yeah. And so let me help somebody tonight. So yes. now you talking about the same Stephanie that used to play cards, that used to do this, that used to cuss, that used to yeah. You talking about the same Stephanie that God gave her a prophetic. Listen, He said, "I will pour out my." Spirit on not all man's that. spirit, not your cousin's spirit. He said, but I will pour out my spirit on Jeez. all flesh and Come my on sons here. and my daughters. Daughters will prophesy. prophesy. Talk, woman of God. Have your way, Holy and Ghost. And so now, and so now, this is what's happening. Now I'm feeling this. You getting all the little, the little slick talk that's coming. This is not from the world, cause she, you know what the world already doing. But some of the slick talk was coming from family. And then so, oh, she called to preach. Oh, she'll be to cuss you out. Oh, she'll be to jump to fight you. But listen, when when that inside of you have died, yeah. when that inside of you have died, and you know you got the Holy Ghost, and you know that you would have done it, but it was God himself. My God. And so now, and so now, many of you are here tonight. You may be saying, prophetess, you talking to me. They keep saying, oh, you used to this. You used to, the Bible told, told my Bible that I read. It said, therefore, if any man, any man, any man, be any prophet, man, be you are Christ. a new creature. He's a new creature. Have passed, passed away. away. And behold, behold that all behold, things become new. And say, and see, behold, that means look, behold, all things become new. <clears throat> You helping, you helping tonight. A new attitude. You talking yeah. about one of the nastiest people. My husband sitting right in the next room. You talking about a person that will cuss you out. You talking about a person that will hold a grudge till the grudge could fall off. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the old person. But I don't want to elaborate on her tonight. But I want right. to tell you what God done in me. And he can do it in you. Listen, he's no respecter of no person. person. Talk, and 
and guess what? We all sin and falling short of, of the his glory, glory. Of God. Of his and glory. God still want to use you. Oh, I ain't ready yet, prophetess. I'm still God. Listen, God will still use you. Listen, he used David. Come he on here. Used, he used David and he was still a mess. <laughs> and he want to use you so he can get glory. It ain't nothing about your name. It ain't nothing about your degrees. You know, so many people don't know that I have a doctor. But you know, so many people get caught up in the titles. I yeah. don't know, you know what? See, it already shocked them when I was set called to be the prophet. So Come I, on I didn't now. want to put nobody on the defibrillator. And, 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 and then they say, oh, you mean to tell me she, she, she a doctor too? What? Yeah. When she right. went to school, them late nights when I'm getting off from the salon, going to school with my, with my dad. My dad is 60 something years old. I made him go to school with me. My stepmom, a couple of my spiritual daughters and, and, and another intercessor. We went to, and my husband, we went to school together. And, and so now when your family don't see what's being done in the dark, they are trying to figure out, well, how did you get here? This and this thing was not an overnight process. Me All right. Mother, we first went down in Florence first. It's a process. I told you it's a process. It's a process. But when people don't see what you're doing behind the scenes, it's almost like you're in boot camp. I never was in the military, and I, I, I'm not wasn't cut out for the military because the first time I break sweat, I got to go. Okay. And, and so my daddy, he was the military man. And so when you're in boot camp, nobody sees all of the stuff that you go through. Only thing your family member sees is the pictures that you send and the letters that you are getting. And then you go to AIT. I think I'm saying this correctly. And then they see you on the day of graduation. But yeah. they don't see the process. They, they don't, don't see, see the process. Cried. They don't yep. see that you were sweating. You vomit. They don't see any of this. And I want to prophesy to some of y'all tonight that some people don't realize that you went through an ugly phase. You went through an ugly season. But God covered you. Hallelujah. Ah! Some of you right now, you are Mira still Mira. in boot camp. And God is still grooming you. He is still perfecting you. He is still shaping you. He is still molding you in yeah. his likeness. Come on now. In you got to understand likeness. he's the potter and we're the he's clay. The potter and he's, he's the, the potter, potter and, and we're the clay. We got to stay on the potter's wheel. That's it. That's it. So he can chip away those things that's not pleasing in his sight. And when we've been tried by the fire, woman tried of God, you done stirred us up. Once we've been tried by the fire, we shall come forth as pure gold. Pure gold. And that's the thing, like you said, no one wants to endure the process. That's it. That's it. The process, the late night crying, the late night laying prostrate before God. That's it. Turning down your plate, That's fasting it. and praying. And then you still got those ones who saying, you cold? Yes, I'm cold. Because That's I'm it. not walking, I'm not walking in, 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 in my old skin. That's right. He can't put new wine in old in skin. The old wine like skin. You, you said it earlier, woman of God. Thank you, kind spirit. You got to die to the flesh. You got to die. And I'm I telling you, even, even with you saying that, you saying the late nights and the, the fasting and the prayer. Let me tell you this. Even when the process is ugly, even when you're going through that process, I want to say this to somebody. Because when you, you know who you are in Christ, yeah, this is the season that you don't have to convince and convey nobody of who you are because the it. time that you are trying to use for convincing them is the time that you can point to prayer the time that you can point to studying the time that you can use hallelujah to be able to minister unto somebody that is going through the same yeah thing that you had to go through and so now what has happened when you went through that ugly process you went through the boot camp you went through that so now listen they see a little change in you. So, so now, I, let me show you what, what I was. Me and my husband was, and, and, and still today, but it's, it's gotten a little better. Th this is what people would do. Would, would y'all pray for us? Would, would, would y'all fast for us? And, and it's getting to a time now where you say, but well, you were the one that didn't believe that God called me to preach. You didn't believe that God called, or, or, or they'll either call me or text me, um, 
uh, how you doing? How, uh, what is the Lord saying? Listen, let me ask you how I'm doing. I'm doing wonderful. But the thing about it, then they see one or two things come to pass that you prophesy. Then they, mm, she may be a prophet. Uh -huh, she, you uh -huh. know, she may be a prophet. <laughs> but one thing that I do know, the scripture said that Jesus was not honored in, in his own country. In his and own listen, country. The same for Jesus is going to be the same for me. Come on so now. Because I'm his daughter. And we yep. got to understand that we're going to suffer. And we're going to be persecuted. And listen, I, I, I just went through something last night. That thing was supposed to come underneath my belt it was supposed to take me out but listen listen if god before you you know the rest if god before you who, who can, can be against, against you and Come i on say here. this tonight you keep dying you keep going through the process you keep going through the things that god wants you to do because i'm gonna tell you this it was a process that hannah had to go through before she got samuel that thing was ugly that thing they talked about her say she was drunk they talked about listen she had to go through so much and listen she had to take all of this torment she had to take all this torture she had to take because this woman panina that was having baby after baby she yeah. was writing books after books i'm paraphrasing she was opening schools after schools she was opening business after business she was making clothes after making clothes she was doing all of these things and listen hannah womb was barren and if you read your bible it said that the lord the lord yes. it did not say say the lord it did not say say it it said the lord, the lord. Closed her womb, Elder Ray. and guess what some of you tonight you saying that my womb is still closed, but you got to do something to make it open. It's almost like your womb got to come to a, 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 a centimeter, one centimeter, two centimeter, three centimeters. Look, you got to do something in the process. And Hannah made the right decision. What yeah. Hannah did, instead of me sitting here complaining, instead of me sitting here mourning, instead of me trying to get vengeance, instead of me trying to be vindictive, instead of me trying to get the last word, let me go in prayer. Let me turn my plate down. Let yes, me go God. to Shiloh. Help me, Holy Ghost. And as the Bible said, she went to Shiloh once a year. And I don't know how many years you got to go through this thing, but I know there's an expiration date to it. Hannah did not give up. And what she did, what she did, prophetess, she kept praying. She uh -huh. kept fasting. Uh -huh. And the Bible says yeah. that when her husband, Elkanah, went in her, at that time, she had a baby in due time. And some of y'all tonight, your due time is here. It's some here. of you all tonight, the stirrups is already ready for you. <laughs> some of you tonight, the basin has been already poured with the water. The doctor has already rolled his sleeves up. For <laughs> some of you tonight, they have already put that isodine, what's it, that isodine on it. Some of yeah. you tonight, they got the gloves on. They ready. Some of you tonight, they already got on their, they, they are protective gear. Yeah. They already got on the stir gear. And to do, you need to turn your plate down one more time. You need to fast one more time. You need to pray one more time. But one thing about Hannah, she did not abandon her altar. She did not <laughs> abandon her altar. And one thing about it, that's what's happening now. Everybody want the baby, but they don't want to do the work. They don't want to pray. They don't want to push. And listen, when you in real prayer, mm -hmm. when you in real prayer, Elder Ray, when you in real prayer, let me show you something. You don't look like this in real prayer. This yeah. hair be straight. This makeup is off. These glasses <laughs> is off. When you in real prayer, let me tell you something. You got to lose yourself in God. You got to get and break, hallelujah. You got to break through another dimension. You got to call on the Lord. Yeah. He said, if you call unto me, he said, I will show you great and mighty things that you know of things. And it's not the things in the earth. It's the spiritual things in the realm of the spirit. He will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. And some of you tonight, you need to break through another realm. You need to break through another dimension. You need to break through another level. Come on. You cannot stay there, Hannah, because that baby still got to come. <laughs> My God. And you saying, well, you know what, prophet is? I'm going to let Penina have that one. I'm going to let Penina have. You know what? I believe Hannah was a black girl. I 
believe yeah. Hannah was a black girl, and I believe Hannah were, probably was me. You know why? Because see, I ain't gonna do too much talking with you. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. All and, right. And listen, Hannah did not do no back talking. Hannah actually put it to work. Hannah, and, and why you over there opening your business? And I'm using this paraphrasing. Uh -huh. Why Hannah and Panina is over there opening businesses? She writing more books. I'm talking about all of these babies she had. She birthing and birthing and birthing and birthing. And you over here trying to get her back? No, what are your strategies? What is productive in your life? What are you doing that's effective? And so now, yeah. Hannah, listen, Hannah, I ain't talking about her. I ain't get ready to get back at her. Let me get on my face. Let me create me a prayer life. Let me seek the Lord to get direction. Let me seek the Lord to find out how to birth this baby. Come on here. Lord, when do I need to dedicate this baby back? And some of you, you don't even have your next, you don't have your next set of instructions because you have not prayed yet. Some of you don't have your next quarter of instruction. You don't have your next manual. You don't have your next guide. And your guide and your instructions is going to come from where Hannah was. And that was the altar. My Hannah God. didn't have time to get back at nobody. She had, she had put her time and her focus in what she was praying towards. And because right. she was diligently, she was, she was actually working towards this thing. Let me tell you what the Bible says. And I see Hannah in this scripture. Let me tell you what the Bible says. It Speak says, on and it. without faith, it's impossible to possible. please them. And yeah. for whoever would draw near to God and must believe that he exists and he's a rewarder to those who seek him. Come on now. He's a Come on now. to those who, those seek who him. diligently they, you know, they seek him. They want to get that first, that, that first clause. But my <laughs> latter clause says he's a rewarder to those who seek me. And so Hebrews 11 and seek. 6. Some don't want to seek. The Bible says seek and you shall find. Yeah, fine. See, all of this is action. You got to do something. The Bible said knock and the door shall open. Door shall the Bible be open. said knock and it shall be open. The Bible says seek and it shall be given. Holly, the Bible said ask and it shall so All of these are actions. Act, not seek. You have to do something. Yeah. Anna, you got to do Come something on to here. get that womb to open. And every time Hannah went to pray, guess what God was doing, Minister Wilbur? That womb was coming open a little bit. She didn't even know that womb was opening. Every time she went to Shiloh and, and, and she turned that plate down, they was, they was eating. Guess what? She turned that plate down. Guess what? That womb was expanding. And every time she came back, that womb was expanding. Every time on, she did not cuss Panina out, that womb was expanding. Every time she sacrificed, that womb was expanding. Every time she showed humility, that womb was expanding. Every time she didn't get angry at that husband, that womb was expanding. And when Elkanai went in her, guess what? He was ready, his semen was potent, and her womb was ready. Uh-huh. And some of you tonight, uh -huh. there's so much of anger. There's so much of bitterness. There's so much of pride. There's so much of, of grudges. That's why your womb's still closed. You got to do something to get that womb to open. You got to forgive the womb open. You got to let it go, that womb open. You got to forgive them. You got to, that womb go open. You got to let that arrogancy, that womb open. Yeah. <laughs> you got let me tell y'all something. I was the chief of literally not to forgive. But I say this tonight. God gave me spiritually a new heart. My God. A new heart. I, I, listen, we don't have a victim story. We didn't come on to hear the testim testimony about a victim. We don't, we, not, that, that's not the story tonight. We yeah. have to tell how we came through it. And I All right. tell somebody, you know how I came through it? You know how it, 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 tell your story. Prophetess, how, did, how did you get to this place? How did you, you come through? You, you want me to tell you how? Yeah. Die on your altar and let the Lord resurrect you. Die on your altar. Some of you waiting for the church to open so you can go back to the altar. It's a shame on the first day of December. You should have built you an altar. You should have had an altar before the church closed. But I want to tell you this. Everywhere Abraham went, he built an altar. He built an altar. Come on now. Build you You're an teaching altar us on, on tonight. Your job. Build you an altar in the grocery store. 
Hang yeah. your bill or altar in the grocery store. You walking down the aisle, pushing the buggy. Father, in the name of Jesus, don't let me come in contact with nobody that has COVID-19. The blood of Jesus, yeah. seal me and my family. In yes, the God. grocery store. And Lord God, cover those that are passing me as well. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Build you an altar. Build you an altar. Yeah. Build you an altar. Wherever at you the, go, build at, you an build altar. Build you an altar at the bank. At the bank. At build the it bank. At the bank. Preach Lord God, when they God. said they wasn't going to give you the loan, this your altar at the bank. You got to get you some word in you. The Bible yeah. said that he would turn the heart of the king. Come out here, somebody. Come he on, yeah. Have, have your shield as a as favor as a shield. <laughs> build you an altar. God, drench me with favor. Give me favor everywhere I go. And with everyone I come in contact with, favor yes, be my portion. Mama, man, Open yeah, your man, yeah. mouth. Open yeah. your mouth. Hannah didn't get pregnant because her mouth was shut. Hannah didn't get pregnant because her womb was shut. She had to first do something. And you tonight, you got to do something. You've been crying. You've been literally crying. You've been physically crying. Dry your tears. Talk, and woman of God. Mouth and cry out into the Lord. Yeah. Oh, God. Build you an altar. Ooh. Build you an altar. Build you an altar. And let me tell y'all something tonight. In building your altar, you will literally, you will literally see your life transform. Yeah. You yeah. will literally see God gut you <clears throat> out. You will literally see your old self on the altar. You will literally see God take out some stuff. You will see a belly washing on the altar. God will wash you. He will wash you and cleanse you. Come out here, somebody. But you first got to build the altar. Come on you got now. To give him permission to do the work. He's a gentleman. You got to give him permission. When you build the altar, this is this is literally saying, this your invitation. Yes. I acknowledge yeah. that you are here. Yeah. I acknowledge you. I invite you, Holy Spirit. No. Thank you, Jesus. Hannah had an altar. Hannah knew how to forgive. Hannah understood the concept of knowing not to get weary in well-doing. Hannah All right. understood that the race wasn't given to the swift to the nor swift. to the strong, but to those who endure to the end. Hannah understood that fasting and prayer, the Bible says some things come through by through fasting, fasting and, and praying. Prayer. Yep. Some of you fasting, but you ain't praying. Some of you praying, but you want to eat your pies. Help I us on tonight. A Debbie pie. Listen, Minister Woodward, I wouldn't let a pie get me from getting to seek in the face of God. I love snacks and I love the snack and I love to snack all through the night. But I'm going to tell you one thing when I'm on, when I'm on a fast, a, a pie will not get my attention. No, 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 no. What has happened? We got to kill our, our flesh. Ask the natural appetite to be decreased. And yeah. ask God to increase your spiritual appetite. Come on now. More things more of the spirit of God. My God. You got, to, you got to build your altar. And when you build that altar, everything that you need on that altar, it'll be there. You know yeah. what? You know what's need to be there? You. You the sacrifice. Come on here. You the, you the sacrifice. You remember Isaac asked his father, Abraham, where, where was the sacrifice? You the know, sac you, you the we sacrifice. Got, we got the wood. We got the fire. You, where's the sacrifice? You, you the sacrifice. <laughs> now, let me tra now, now, let me test you. My God. Woman of God. To God be the glory. Oh, my God. And that, that, oh, my God. I don't even know where to go. You gave us, you got to become the sacrifice. You got to become the sacrifice. Listen, and, and some of us, we don't want to become the sacrifice because some of us, we don't want to let, we don't want to, some of us are married and we don't want to let our man go, our boyfriend go. Yeah. You, you, you got, you, you, you don't want to sacrifice. You, you don't want to let your bae go and then you in a relationship, you still got your baby. Listen, you got to let some stuff go. If you say that you are a true woman of God, a true man of God, listen, God is doing so much. God didn't expose so much in this pandemic. I told the church that I pastor, even some of my intercessors are on here tonight. I told them, I said, by the time the church doors open, 
Even preachers are going to need a psychiatrist. Even preachers are going to need a therapist because God is going to expose some of their fleshly desires. Some of the stuff that they, listen, some of them have already been drunk before. But because we was on lockdown, they became a pure alcoholic. Some of them will need mental help. I told the intercessors, they on here tonight. And so guess what? You got to become the sacrifice. God said that if you allow me to wash you in private, mm -hmm. I won't have to expose you in public. Come on and now. And that's what has happened. God has given warnings. And some of you on here tonight, you need to build that altar. And you know something and you need to die. You know you still cussing. You know you still drinking. You know you still smoking. You know you still doing everything that you're not supposed to do. Listen, I summon you tonight to build that altar and say, God, take it out of me. Talk. Take it out of me. You've already talked to yourself long enough. You cannot do it. You tried it. You went through a 10 step program. You read a hundred story books. You read all of the key components and nothing has happened. Try Jesus. Try Jesus. My God. Ask him, <laughs> take it out of me. Take the hate out of me. Take the unforgiveness out of me. Take the anger out of me. Take the, take whatever. You know what's in you. You know you better than anybody. Charlie. And while you on that altar, Get you a little pan. Get you a little pan beside you. Because every now and then you need to purge. Look. My God. Get that old junk out of you. Get that old stuff. The Bible said lay aside every sin. And every every weight. That's so that easy. easily besets you. Beset you. You got to get it out of you. My God. Woman of God. I'm and just so... so this is what God did for me. This is this is the testimony tonight. So all, all right. the processing that I had to go through, all the all the process, all the the laboring, all the pushing, all of that. And so now, what you see before you tonight, come is on, a now. person that had to die. Yeah, Not one time, numerous times. You you die you die daily to your own self. You, you die, die daily. When 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 that person wanna you know tell you off that debate, you know mm -hmm. we wanna. Do that back. You got to mm -hmm. die. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and me and my husband was in this store a couple weeks ago or so. And we was asking this lady in the store. And, and I we walked up together and I said, um, hey, girl, me, excuse me. Uh, where's your or such such? The lady, this is this is what she did. My husband's in the next room. This, this is what the lady did to me. She looked me. She got on her earpiece, the little thing that you talk in. Excuse yes, ma'am. Help on such such. She never responded to me. My God. I said, "Oh my!" My husband looked at me, and we looked at each other, and we walked off. And he said, <laughs> "That's your friend." <laughs> and we and we had to laugh. You know why? Because laughter does the heart like a good medicine. It's Listen, good you ain't for the make me sick, baby. I'm gonna laugh. Yeah. Woman of God, <clears throat> laughter is good for the soul. Yes, and it is. You said, oh, my God. I don't even know what it is. Oh, my God. Yes, it is. Sheesh. You've God given us so me. much. God You've given me. us so much. You've given us so much. I thank God for your transparency, for every spoken word that you said. And someone is coming out of bondage as Amen. we press through, as we go through. Someone is coming out of bondage. Amen. And what you say, open rebuke is better than secret love. Look. Yes. Yes, that's the word of God. Open rebuke is better than secret love. love. Yes. Come on now. Come on. Come yes, on now, woman of God. I I don't even know where to go because you've given us so much. I'm just gonna let you keep going ahead and talk. But <clears throat> I, my wanna, God, I just woman. wanna I just wanna add this too. I wanna encourage so many that are going through in, in this uh pandemic. Yeah, um, I was talking to um, I was sharing with my husband on yesterday. I had to go uh, to this place and um, it was supposed to be a two hour thing, but it turned into two and a half, three hours. And make a long story short, the Lord used me uh, to uh, minister and to uh, open up to this young lady. Um, she brought a, another lady there and the lady was, um, uh, she was deaf. 
And come to find mm. out, my husband has seen this lady, the same lady. We described the same lady um, mm -hmm. to another uh, appointment that he was at. And so I began to tell the lady and minister to this lady. And mm -hmm. so she said, um, even in the pandemic, it's, so, it's just so hard. She was saying, it's just so hard. She said she has anxiety really bad. My and so God. I want to encourage so many tonight yeah. that may be going through in this Speak pandemic. On it. You, may, you may not be going through anxiety. You may not be going through uh, separation, isolation. You may not be going through any of those things. But some of you may be going through financial distress. Some of you may be, your marriage may have had a breakdown in the, in the uh, pandemic. Some of you may have lost some loved ones due to COVID-19. Some of you may have lost some loved ones in other uh, uh, different uh, facets in life. Some of you may have lost jobs, your business closed, some of your, your, your family, whatever. Some things had broke down. So yeah, people yeah. had some meltdowns. And, and so the Lord gave me this scripture today. I was pondering and pondering and sitting on the edge of my bed. And the Lord gave me Romans 12 and 12. Hope. The Bible said rejoice in hope. Yeah. Be patient in tribulation. Yeah. Be constant in prayer. My God. That's what it said. It says rejoice in <clears throat> hope. Be patient in tribulation. Yeah. Be <clears throat> constant in in prayer. prayer. You don't gave us our next you don't gave us our next instructions. It direct you back to your altar. Mike. It that in, in this pandemic, you got to pray without ceasing. In this Come pandemic, on here. you got to pray like never before. In this pandemic, you got to be just like how they was at Simon Peter's house. That that, that 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 house when the church was praying and they didn't even know that Peter was at the door. Ronda Come on now. She was she was so amazed because she heard Peter's voice. And some of you have heard the voice and it has <laughs> astonished you because, because you didn't realize that it was really the voice of God. They didn't need, she didn't realize that this was really Peter. And she went and told them in the house that yeah. this is Peter. And they was telling her, you got to be out your mind. He is still in prison. And I want to prophesy to some of you, some doors has opened for you. Some gates has opened for you. You keep on praying. Don't you stop praying. Listen, so I around the told you Peter at the door, but circumstances and challenges are still going to come. You still got to pray. You still got to turn your, uh, your plate down. And don't you get discouraged. Because if God before us, I told you earlier, it's more than the world against, against you. And I'm Look. trying to tell somebody tonight that God will watch over his word to perform it. He Look. is a present help in the time of trouble. Time of trouble. He is our shepherd and we shall not want. He wants to lead you beside the still water. He wants to give you direction. He wants yes. to give you some instructions. And some of you tonight, you may in a barren place. You may in a dry place. You may in an empty place. You say, it feels like I'm not getting nothing. Listen, don't wait on your pastor to feed you food. Don't wait on your pastor to give you instructions. You need to get in your Bible for your own. You All need right. to get on your face for your own. This is personal. Listen, this, this relationship with me and Jesus, this is personal. This has nothing to do with my apostle. This All has right. nothing to do with my husband. I'm talking about a one-on-one. <laughs> a one, -on -one. A one my God. And you establish this in prayer. You establish this in seeking the hand and the face of God. Many been seeking his hand, the provisions, the things that he can do, the things that he can release. But how many been seeking the face to get more glory and that you don't get all of the glory? How many yeah. been asking God to take me to the mountain? And then Talk. every time Moses went to the mountain, listen, he got a set of instructions. And Shall you right run now, you're trying to read a book. Then get your next instruction. Your instructions ain't coming out the book. Your library can be big as your house. Yes. You got to pray. And Some see of you got faith. a library that's bigger than the library in your city. But I'm telling you tonight, information is good. Knowledge is good. But power is in prayer. All right. Yes. Oh, it's in prayer. Oh, the fire is on the altar. I got my intercessors here tonight. They know. You can get tired along the way, but
but you better not let prophetess know. Tyre is not in my vocabulary. I tell them, come on say, now. See, you have what you say. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm tired, tired. You, mm -hmm. you right, you tired. Come on now. Out the bundles of the mouth, the heart speaking. Come That's on. It. And you should have what careful. you say. You got to be careful that you can speak life or you can or speak death. death. Come on now. And listen, life and power. Power run. is in this tongue. Life power and death. Is in this tongue. Life and, and death. Earlier, write <laughs> your next chapter. Write your next season with this pink tornado. Don't pull nobody down. Don't script nobody down. Build them up. Because Talk I'm trying one. to tell you, there is a shift that has already taken place. Before I got on here, my what? apostle called me and my husband. Listen, I'm telling you, she had already messed me up. I said, I feel a boost. I told her I feel a boost. And listen, I want to tell some of you all something in this hour. If you don't know nothing else, you better honor God. You better reverence God. You better, listen, you better acknowledge God. You better obey God. And listen, next to that, your leader, the person that you are under, the yes, one that's God. covering you, the one yes, that's praying God. for you. God showed me and my husband something today, and we had to do it expeditiously. We had to do it now. We had to do it quick. This was no going home praying about it. This was not, let me see what the Lord is saying. No, yes. we heard the voice of God, and I didn't need another sign, Gideon. I did not need another sign. That's wasting time. Yes, woman. And so tonight, obey God. Obey. Yeah. Obey God. Reverence God. Acknowledge God. And next under that is your leader. Come your on pastor, now. your bishop, whoever has the authority over you. Remember that. You got to get order. God is setting order back in, in the place. He's making some alignment. And I'm saying this to you. Some of y'all been all over the place. All just jagging all over the place. God is going to set order in your life. And you cannot get the uh the speck out of somebody else's eye. You got to get the one get out, the of yours. out of yours. Let's start with the man <laughs> in the mirror. My God. And so after you do all of that, you you actually say, Well, prophetess, you talking about this process. How long did it take you? You know what? I don't even want to do the ad because it, it was so long. I don't even want to do the adding. You know why? Because sometimes everybody think the same length of time that you endure, they're going to have that same time. Yours might be a year. Mine might be 10 years. It just And it's predicated on your obedience as well. The Bible says, if we Come are willing, on here. It said, if. That's conditional. It said, if. Let's go to the word. Let me show it to you right quick. Isaiah Isaiah 1 and 19. Isaiah 1 and 19. That's if you be said. willing if, and obedient, you, be willing. you will eat the good of the That's land. Come says. on, woman of God. That's what it says. And, <laughs> some, and some people, there's this is what they, I do it. I do it if Stephanie do it. I do it if Ray do it. No, 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 no. You better hear God. You And, and all this stuff, I'm doing this because Stephanie asked me to do it. Don't you do it because I asked you to do it because you might get mad tomorrow and you don't want to finish it. All right. <laughs> I love so it. make sure that you heard the Lord. Make for sure that you are doing what the Lord said. My husband got this scripture that he loves, Colossians 3 and 23. He yeah. loves that scripture. Whatever you do, do it wholeheartedly unto Heartedly. the Lord. Unto don't the do Lord. it unto man. Do it unto God that God going to get the glory. That's it. Pray to God. Listen, that's all I can tell you how God brought me through. I was in a dark place. He brought me out. Yeah. I was in a bitter place. God brought me out. I was in a place where I thought God couldn't bring me out, but he brought me out. And look at me now. To God be the glory. The glory. I think that I'm a I think that I'm still a work in process, but he ain't finished with me yet. But the work that he has done in me thus far, he gets the glory. This is his print. This is his signet. This is his signature. Come no on, man, here. get the glory. Nobody, my life. nobody, no, no man, man to get the glory. No flesh should dwell in my sight. When you come up here, you got to die to the flesh. That's it. You got to take off your shoes. 
Yes. Because this is holy ground. You can't holy. come up here any kind of way. Yeah, my dear. Shot. Woman holy. of God. Yeah. You are talking good tonight, and I know you freeing somebody else up. You, I know Jesus. you freeing somebody else up with your testimony, with you being transparent, with you being obedient. You done told us wherever we go, we ought to build an altar. My yes. God, you done took me there. Yes. yes. <laughs> you done told yes. us. You done gave us our next instructions to pray. <laughs> That's it. I want to say this. I want to say this, Minister Woodward. Some people on, on here tonight, they may be saying, well, prophets, I don't pray like you pray. Or I, I, I don't have to pray that long. It just, it just depends on what you want from God. You might pray yeah. something for four minutes. But listen, me personally, these, these intercessors that's on here with me, these ladies ride and die with me. These All right. ladies, listen, after we pray, let me tell y'all something. When you pray, you, you have already told the Lord and you've asked the Lord. So after you have prayed, what you do? You get up. Yes, you do. You get up. You got to sit there and hear what the spirit of the Lord has to say. And we are on our intercessory line. And after we pray, listen, it's late sometime at night, but we ain't getting off of that call until we heard the voice of the Lord. All right. You told God something. Now he want to talk to you. Come on here. He want to talk back to you. And sometimes he may not speak to you there. You may be going on to work. Turn that radio off sometime. Turn that radio off. Turn that telephone off sometime. Yeah. And hear what God is saying. Talk, woman of God. And I promise you, if you listen, you will hear him. You if will. you let him, he'll speak. But you got to open up. And Come let on. him. Yeah. He won't force. He's a gentleman. He's a gentleman. He's yeah. a gentleman. I want to prophesy. I see somebody on here tonight. I seen her name go up here several times. And I just want to be for the act of obedience um, tonight. And I asked about this woman of God. I want to make sure that she's still on here. If Rhonda is on here, Elder Rhonda, Elder Rhonda Roten, are you still on here? Elder Ray, is, uh, is uh, Elder Rhonda Roten still on here? Talk, I, I literally God. asked about this woman of God today. Is, is you still on here? Elder, is she up there? Is she on? I'm trying to see whether she's on here. Elder Beverly Richbow, can you locate her for me? Elder Richbow, can you uh, locate Rhonda Roten for me? Elder Ray, could you um, locate Rhonda for me? She was here, Rhonda Rolton, right here. Is she on here? Is she on here, Elder Richbow? Can you locate her for me? If My she's God. not, if she's not, I see this lady, she, she caught well. She, she caught well. Yeah. Let me prophesy the word of the Lord to you. I hear the Lord saying that in this hour that I'm doing a new thing. She, she caught well, and it don't feel right where you at. It seems like you're in a place where God is stretching you. She, yep. she caught well. It seems like you're in a place where God is stretching you. But I hear the Lord saying, I am stretching you to give you more space for the capacity to hold what I am pouring in. I even hear the Lord said that I am pouring in something fresh, something new. And I even hear the Lord said that I am about to give you dreams like never before. You're going to dream again. And I'm not talking about the night dream, but you're going to dream again that I can do this. I can, I can become that. I hear the Lord say that you will dream again. And not only will you dream again, but I hear the Lord say that I am causing your chapter to be rewritten. I'm causing your chapter to be rewritten. It's almost like you started something she, she caught well, and you did not finish. But I hear the Lord say that I'm giving you are finished and anointed. You yes, will begin to finish. The Lord said you will finish. You will not have do it this time, but you shall complete yes. this thing. Come on here, she, she, Codwell. Thank you, I Jesus. I even hear the Lord say that she you are going to give me glory like never before. You are going to praise me like never before because it was something that was supposed to take your mind. It was something that was supposed to take you out. But I hear the Lord say, let thy mind be in me, which is in Christ Jesus. Yes, I hear yes. the Lord say, think on the things that are pure. Think of the things that are, no are noble and the things that are honest and just and those things that are of a good report. I hear the Lord saying, 
Yes, he, he, he can well. The Lord said, I did not break you down. He said, I'm building you up and I'm building you from the foundation. I'm building you up and I'm building you from the foundation. Come on here, she, she caught well. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and the Lord said, what I have done in you, yes, no God. man shall get the glory. I yes. hear the Lord saying, she, she caught well. The thing that I've done in you, no man shall get the glory. I, I literally see it's like you typing. It's like you typing, woman of God. She, she caught well. It's almost like I see you typing. But the Lord said, get back to that thing. I see you typing. I don't yes, know whether you're writing a book. I don't know whether you're writing or you're ready to birth something, but you're typing. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Ah. And the Lord said, you are out of the valley. The Lord Come said, on, you your are shape. out of the valley. Shandy the Lord Rondi. said tonight, you are out of the valley. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care whether it seems like you're still dry and buried. The Lord said tonight, that you are out of the valley. The things that are seen is temporal, but ah. the unseen is eternal. Eternal. Talk, woman of God. Thank you, Jesus. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. And that is the word. She said, I've been working on Working a on a book. My God, she look said, at I've Jesus. I've been working on a book. I don't even ah. know this individual, but the Thank Holy you, Ghost Jesus. knows you. Yeah, yeah. Prophesied, I woman because of God. I didn't feel ready. Woman yeah, of God, you better pull it back to work. Come this on, is here. Season. this is the season to finish. Listen, you ain't waiting on God no more. You heard the word when you hear the prophetic word. When yeah. is the time now? Talk, woman. Yeah. What now? Okay, I see a woman of God. Let me see. I thought I seen. Wait a minute. I thought I seen. Um, Elder Richbo said she's here. Let me see. She Hold did. on. Rhonda Roaches is here. Yes, Have your way, kind it. spirit. Shut up, my man. Elder Rhonda Rota. Shut up, Randy Abasha. When I asked about you today, I asked Elder Richbo about you, but I literally seen you. I seen you. It's almost like you're on a sabbatical. It's almost like you're trying to actually redefine you. Woman of God, it's almost like God got you on a sabbatical right now. But yeah. the Lord said, I am replenishing your strength and I am restoring your spirit. The Lord said, I am replenishing your strength yes, and God. I am restoring your spirit. I even hear the Lord saying, you're getting ready to open your Bible and the world's going to look different. God said, I'm getting ready to give you a revelation like never before. The Lord said, you will see my hidden mystery. The Lord yeah. said, even on this time down, come out here, woman of God. He said, you're going to have a major encounter and you will not be able to explain this to nobody. You will not be able to describe this to nobody. God said it will be a one-on-one. -on -one. He said yes. it's almost like I'm going to be the teacher and you're going to be the pupil. I'm going to be the teacher and you're going to be the student. The Lord said, I am about to teach and train you in a new way. Hallelujah. And I hear the Lord say, I'm about to give your eyes. Hallelujah. I'm taking off the spiritual cataract. It's yes. almost like you said, I want to see this. I want to see that. And the Lord said, I'm taking and removing the scales off. Hallelujah. And I hear the Lord say, what they said about you was a lie. And God said, I'm going to bring it to the light. God said, I'm going to expose the yeah. thing. What Shed they your said about you Shed. was a lie. And I'm about to expose it and they shall beg your pardon and you shall forgive them for they know not what what they, they do. do my god have your way holy ghost have your way holy ghost thank you jesus yes father thank you kind spirit the Hallelujah. spirit of the Lord is truly, surely thank you, the spirit of the Lord is subject to the prophet have your Hallelujah. way holy ghost have speak you, lord father Speak, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Tammy Thank you, Jesus. Humphreys. Yes. Tammy Thank you, Humphreys. Humphreys. Yeah, There yeah. is a move. Tammy Humphreys. I don't know where you're living at right now, but there is going to be a move. Tammy Humphreys. There is ready to be a move. Woman of God. I literally heard the Lord say there is going to be a sudden move. <laughs> a sudden move 
And the Lord said, do not be fearful. The Lord said, for I am with you. I hear the Lord said, stop adding up. Stop trying to count up. The Lord said, this shall be a faith move. Uh-huh. And, and, and not only will it be a faith move, but I even hear the Lord say, things that you thought that wasn't going to come to pass. The Lord said, this is a ripe and a ready season for you. This yes. is a ripe and a ready season for you. Come on, King Tamri Humphreys. The Lord said, you suffered. The Lord said, you suffer but now i'm getting ready to show you i'm getting ready to delight yourself in the lord the lord, lord yeah. to give you the desires of your heart and i see keys i see two keys woman of god i see two keys two keys keys represent access keys uh uh represents opportunities and opening but i see two keys i see two keys I don't hear anything else, but I'm seeing right now two keys. My God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Yes, God. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Speak, Holy Ghost. Speak, Holy Ghost. Have your divine way, oh God. Tammy Move Humphreys. Me, Lord God. The yeah. Lord said, forgive them. Yeah. Tammy Humphreys. The Lord yeah. said, forgive them. Mama Mandy, your shake. Tammy Humphreys. Shut up, your man. Forgive show. them. Tammy Humphreys. Yeah. The Lord said, forgive them. Forgive them. Yes, God. Tammy Humphreys. The Lord said, My forgive God. them. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Dr. you, Lord. Sandy, is Dr. Uh, Sandy still on here? I seen her on here earlier. Is Dr. Sandy still on here? Dr. Heridian, is she still on here? Elder Richbo, can you locate Dr. Sandy Heridian? Is she still on <laughs> here? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Elder Richbo, can you locate her? Is she still Thank on you, here? Thank you, Lord God. Dr. Sandy Heridian. Thank you, Lord. There she go. There she go. Dr. Sandy, there is, you're ready, I literally see, there's, you're ready to be a transition on your job. There, Thank I, you, there, Jesus. I, I just see a lot of people, something is getting ready to happen. Something is getting ready to happen where people are going to be transitioned. There's getting ready to be some moving around on your job. But yeah. I hear the Lord said there is going to be something rewarding for you. I literally hear the Lord said there's getting ready to be so much transition. I, I literally see a bunch of movement, a bunch of movement. But the Lord said there is getting ready to be something that's coming rewarding concerning that from your job. Yes, ma'am. And I literally see it's almost like the people, it's almost like, well, I just got here, but I'm going here. I just got over yeah. here, but I'm going here. There is ready to be a major transition, major moving around. Yeah. But you shall be rewarded. Yeah. But you shall be rewarded, saith the Lord. You shall be rewarded. You will yep. not come out empty-handed. My God. Dr. Sandra Heridian, the Lord said you will not come out of this empty-handed. You will not. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. And Thank we bless you, the Lord. name of the Lord. Yes, Father. And we bless the name of the Lord. Thank so, you, Father, God. tonight, I pray for every Hannah. I pray tonight you, for every individual that was not praying and praying properly and praying amiss. I pray for those souls tonight that they will open up their mouths in this season and that they will pray without ceasing. Yes, they God. will pray like never before. They will pray and they will see results. They will pray and they will see manifestation. They will pray and they will see a response. In yes, the God. earth, Father, I ask now in the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus, that you would do a new work in each and every person that's yes, under God. the sound of my voice. 
the mantle of prayer that's on me. I place it on them tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, give them a love and a passion for prayer. Let them pray. Let them hold on to the horns of the altar. Let them weep and cry between the porch and yes. the altar. Father, let them hold on and don't turn loose too fast. I pray now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that even as they pray, God, that they will believe what they are praying for and they will see you, God, and they shall ask in God, they shall knock in God, you shall do what you said. In Thank the you. mighty name of in Jesus, the mighty name Christ. Of Jesus Father, repair marriages tonight. Father, yes, even our uh, men families tonight. Lord God, restore uh, those that have felt empty in their spirits tonight. Lord yes, God, God, heal every COVID patient tonight. Lord God, Mama heal Dios, every family yeah. that's going through the hour of bereavement tonight. Lord God, heal those that are going through anger and bitterness. Lord God, heal those that have mental illness. Lord God, heal those that went through surgery today. Touch my yes. daughter, Octavia Snow. Heal yes, from God. the inside out in the mighty name of yes, Jesus God. Christ. Father, we send your word to yes. Octavia tonight. You said you sent your word and it healed from every disease and yes, every destruction. God. So, Father, send your fire tonight. Oh, God, yes. said. God, send your fire tonight. God, we bless your name in the name Thank of the you. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, we ask now that you will touch every teacher, you will touch every nurse, you will touch every doctor, you will touch every cashier, you will touch every factory worker, you will touch every preacher, you will touch every son and every daughter, every laity, every person that's in the body of Christ, every sinner man touch tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus. And heal like only you can. Those that are backsliders tonight. Those that don't know you in the pardon of their sin. I pray tonight that they will surrender. And they shall ask, what shall I do to yes, be saved? Sir. Have Thank your you, way. Jesus. Dress them new tonight. Yes, Dress God. them anew tonight. Give them a new garment. God, I pray tonight <coughs> that you would give them, Lord God, a clean and a righteous garment. Yes, clean God. and wash them. Purify them. Thank you, Lord. And Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord God, I pray tonight yes. for this great visionary. Lord God, I pray for Minister Michelle Woodward. Thank you, Lord, Lord God. God. Continuously, God, to give her new ideas and give her new uh, inventions and give her, Lord God, a new vision for this ministry. Lord yes. God, take it overseas, even virtually, in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Name even of... give her her heart's desire. But yes. Father, we thank you right now that you're going to use this platform, that souls will come to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank so, Father, you. we say thank you. And I thank, thank you, Lord, for using me tonight. I thank you, Lord God, yes. for even allowing me to speak tonight. I thank you, Lord God, that I yielded for you tonight. I thank you, Lord God, that you use me, Lord God, and you hide Stephanie. Thank you, God, that you get the glory yes and it's in your son jesus name lord god i pray right now for every intercessor that is praying on my behalf lord god fill them and cover them and bless them lord god cover my husband as he's given me permission lord god to come and bless your people once again lord god do what you're going to do best for him surprise and awe him in the mighty name of jesus christ and i call it to be done and so shall it be Hallelujah. Woman of God, I hear the Lord saying concerning you. I hear the Lord saying, uh, Minister Michelle, I hear the Lord saying, you've been seeking me on the behalf of other things. But the Lord said, I'm going to give you resources in this hour. The Lord said, not only am I going to give you resources, but I'm going to have you in connected with resourceful people. And I even hear the Lord say that you have a key in your mouth. The Lord said, you have fire in your mouth. And I hear the Lord say that you have vision in your belly. And I hear the Lord Lord said, you've been holding back on some things. The Lord said, write the vision and make it plain. The Lord said, your leaders have already seen it. Your leaders have already approved it. The Lord said, don't be reluctant. Don't doubt in this hour. The Lord said, the key is in your mouth. The key is in your mouth. The fire is in your mouth. The Lord said, when you open your mouth, you will unlock atmospheres. You will unlock pathways. You will unlock streams. Hallelujah. And I see streams of revelation that's flowing hallelujah in your life and i even hear the lord say that everything is contingent on you everything is contingent on you the lord said yes the wolves hallelujah they ran up the wolves they ran up against you and this was not the world this was in the body of christ but i hear the lord say though i slay you, yet 
I trust you. And I hear the Lord say in this hour that they cannot do anything with you. The Lord said that I will cut down your enemies like grass. The Lord said I will fight against those that fight against you without a cause. The Lord said you've been crying and you've been crying in secret. But the Lord said I am about to show you that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. This is your season of joy. Your pain has been extra. Your pain has been severe. Your pain has been intense. But the Lord, thy true and the living God, he said, I heard your prayers and I've seen your tears and I shall remember them, saith the Lord. I shall remember them. You shall not go unrewarded. You shall not go unrewarded. Nothing you've done for me shall go unnoticed. You've been serving, hallelujah, in your leader, in your leader's capacity. You've been serving. And I hear the Lord say that every time you serve, it open up a door. Every time you serve, it open up an opportunity. Every time you serve, it open up a gate. And I hear the Lord say, don't get frustrated. Don't get frustrated because this is your finest hour. This is your finest hour. It doesn't matter what it looks like, but I hear the Holy Ghost saying tonight, this is your finest hour. The Lord said, for I have not seen and ear have not heard. Has it entered into the heart of man? What I'm about to do for Michelle. I literally see you, woman of God, laying on your floor, praying and crying. I see you on your floor, laying, crying and crying and crying unto the Lord. But the Lord said your sacrifice will get you to the next place. Your sacrifice, your sacrifice. And the Lord said in this hour, it almost seemed like you had holes in your pocket. But the Lord said, I am about to fill your baskets up. I'm about to have a surge of the overflow. The Lord said, don't look at what you have right now. God said, speak to what you have. Don't look at what you have right now. Speak to what you have. God says, speak to the mountain. God says, speak to the finances. God says, speak to the wind. He said, come out here. He said, open your mouth and speak to it. And this is your finest hour. This is your finest hour. Many trying to figure out, how did you get here so fast? The Lord said, I made your name great. The Lord said, it was nothing about you. You didn't push this. You didn't push this. You didn't compel this. The Lord said, it was me that made your name great. And that is the word of the Lord. And you are Hannah. They don't realize how you had to push. Sometimes you push by yourself. You didn't see nothing, but you kept pushing. But I say tonight, Hannah, you're going to see what you've been praying for. And that is the word of the Lord. And no word <coughs> of the Lord shall fall to the ground. I speak acceleration on this word tonight. It's in Jesus' name. <coughs> it's in Jesus' name. Oh God. Oh. I pray that everybody that's on here been blessed tonight. Oh. I pray that everybody on here been blessed. That was all I have for them. And this is yours truly, Prophet Stephanie Mathis. You can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on YouTube. You can follow me on Prophet <laughs> Stephanie Mathis, I-N-T-L dot net. And you can follow me as I follow Christ. Shalom. Of God. Oh God. To God be the glory. Oh my God, woman of God. To God be the glory. Oh God, to God be the glory. We give you honor. Oh God. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, as we dive deeper into worship, as we dive deeper into worship, to God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. To all the viewers, I do apologize for crying and, oh God, but this woman of God has blessed us all tremendously. She has blessed us all tremendously. And as we go forward, I just pray and ask that you... Uh, be willing to give a seed 
on tonight. The Bible has already declared in St. Luke 6 and 38. Give and it shall be given unto you. Press down, shaking together, running over, shall men be given to your bosoms. Yes. And the spirit of the Lord is subject to the prophet. As I begin to read this scripture right here, my God, to God be the glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray that everyone is well on tonight. I pray, my God. Oh, God, I thank you. I'm just going to read the latter part of this scripture. My God. My God, my God. It's Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20. Oh, God. And it says, and they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekel. Excuse me. And they also went forward. Jehoshaphat stood and said, hear me, uh, mm -hmm. O Judea, O Judah, and ye habitats of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God. Yes. So shall you be established. Believe in his prophets. Uh, so shall you prosper. Mm -hmm. Every word that she spoke on tonight, truly, it was of God. Oh, my God. God be the glory. And as we go further in ministry, as we go further in worship, this is your time to be a blessing to the blesser. She poured out her heart. She poured out her spirit. As you see it, stroll at the bottom. If you want to be a blessing to her, her cash mm -hmm. app information is there. Please be a blessing to this woman of God. <clears throat> I usually don't put a seed on it or or a number on it, but we're in the year of 2020. And everyone she prophesied on tonight. She prophesied restoration. She prospers. She prophesied um finance. She, she prophesied health and spirit. She yes. prophesied your next instructions. I beseech you to give to this woman of My God. God. This of restoration we are in the final season uh, and some seasons are ending and some season are so some seasons are beginning but yes. i prophesy to you and i declare to you on tonight it's better to give than to receive i pr i promise you if you be blessing to her god will bless you abundantly come on now here come on now ministry don't stop ministry don't stop this is just a good part of it she poured out her heart. She poured out her spirit. And God, I pray even now, everything she poured out, that you will begin Jesus. to give a hundredfold back unto her, God. Bless her business, oh God. Bless Habandiyosha, her ministry Thank like Jesus. never before, oh Father God. Send the revenues, oh Father God. Give her brand new ideas, oh Father Thank God. Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. And just like she poured out, ah, bring the resources, bring the help, Thank oh God. Jesus. The laborers are playing. God, we, re we already realized, God. Mm. The laborers are plentiful, but the harvests are few. The harvests are plentiful, but the labors are yes. few, oh God. God, yes. please forgive me, oh God. God, just have your divine oh way. God, send the laborers on tonight, oh In God. God, we thank, you. we thank you, oh Father God, for every spoken word that went out of her mouth, oh God. God, we thank you for everyone that received it on tonight. Thank you, God, we just thank you for her obedience, oh Father. Yes, God, send her through the highways and the byways, oh Father thank God. You, Open up doors and of it. Across the seven Thank seas, you, oh God, Jesus. make a way, oh Father God, protect and shield her and her yes, husband, Lord. oh Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. God, we thank you, we give you glory, and we give you honor. Yes, Jesus. This is the time, oh God, I pray even now, God, that you will move on your people, move on their hearts, oh God, that they will be a blessing until this woman of God. Don't you click off now, don't you miss your blessing, don't you miss your blessings because we're asking you to be a blessing you, to Jesus. someone else. You got the understand this woman of God began to tore up the ground. She went down to the root of the thing. She went down to the things that was laying dormatted. She did just like Jeremiah. She plucked up some stuff. Yes, God, we thank you, oh God. Have your own divine way, oh God. Have your divine oh way, oh God. Put a seed in the ground on this word. Put a seed in the ground on this word. I promise you, huh? 
you will reap the harvest. You will reap the harvest. Yes, thank you, Jesus. You already see her cash app. Money sign, prophetess, Mathis. Please be a blessing to this woman of God. Be a blessing to this woman of God. So into her ministry. Hiya. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you. We thank you, Lord God. Haya Bandiosha. And I will be the first one to give. Ah, yes, God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I will be the first one to give. Whatever your heart desires, because we already know where we are in this pandemic, but the Bible say, according to thy faith, yes. ah, let it be so. Faith. According yes. to thy faith, Abandiosha. according to thy faith. But I also know what the Bible say, if you sow sparingly, you're going to reap sparingly. So I'm asking that you give according to your faith. I'm asking that you give according to Abandiosha, not to what it looks like in the bank, ah, but go beyond, stretch beyond your expectations. I declare and decree if you begin to bless someone else, God will make it happen just for you. Come on, somebody. Come on. Ministry has went forth. This Diosha, she's prophesied. She's encouraged. She gave her testimony. And surely we already know if he did it for her, he will do it for you. He has no respectable person. Ah, The Bible has already declared too. Mm. I got to quit in Genesis 8 and 22. As long as the earth shall remain, there yes. will be seed time and harvest, yes. hot and cold, summer and cold, summer yes. and cold, hot and warm. These things will never fail. The sun will never go down. But I promise you also, if you be a blessing uh, to someone else, he will be a blessing to you. He said, I will bless them that bless you and I will curse them that curse you. Yes. But I promise you, the blessings of the Lord maketh us rich and he added no sorrow. I want you to push beyond the veil. I want you to push beyond the veil and begin to realize what this woman of God has poured out. Yes, God, she already said it. Even Jesus Christ wasn't even worthy in his own home. And yes. she had to go through the fire. She yes. had to be ridiculed. She had to be talked about. She had to be abandiosha. She had to destroy her flesh. She had to even think twice and say, God, but God, once she really Realized she heard yes. the voice of God. Uh, she even said it in her life. She had to come out amongst them and be ye separated, said the spirit of the Lord. Uh, yes, God. She put down the cause. She put down the Abandiosha. She put down the dice. She put it all down and she was the sacrificial lamb. Uh, thank you, kind spirit. Uh, I thank beseech you, you on tonight to sow a seed into this young lady's life, this prophet life. Her cash app information is here. Pro dollar sign, prophetess Mathis, please be a blessing. Please be a blessing to this woman of God. You can't go wrong in this season. Ah, You can't go wrong in this season. Doors are opening. Ah, doors are opening. Doors are opening. Doors are opening. And of course, doors are closing. But it was nobody but God who did it. Thank you, Jesus. Nobody but God. It was nobody God but God who did it. When the door closes, one went open. But it was nobody who what that was God that was did it. I can't even get my thoughts together because I'm still excited. I'm still in the spirit. It was nobody but God. Nobody but God. Yes. A woman woman of God, I thank you truly. I'm going to give to you. It, I'm, I'm giving what my heart feels, but I know I'm giving according to that faith. Huh? And I'm giving according to how she poured out and how she blessed me abundantly. And I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one. Ah, I beseech you, brothers and sisters, begin to sow. Please begin to sow according to thy faith. According to thy faith. This is the year of 2020 restoration. You're going to get it all back. <laughs> I don't think you heard her. She said, when you lay it at the altar and leave it there, huh? God's going to do a new thing. He's going to pour out rivers and, uh, and dry places. He's going to make your crooked way straight. I beseech you now yes. to give, 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 give. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me begin to give mine. I pray that you've given yours. I pray that you're, you are... I'm giving yours. How about that you are giving yours? Ah, yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. 
Yes, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You're so worthy. You are so worthy, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. You God, Yabandi Oshe. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Yes, Father. You're worthy, oh God. You're worthy, oh God. <clears throat> oh my God. As in, as we dive into this a little bit further, her book information, as I begin to lay it on the screen, please go and purchase her book also. Yes, Father. Go and purchase her book at Amazon, tapping into the prophetic wall. The Mask of the First Lady is also an Amazon. The Kingdom Woman book is not at Amazon as of yet, but stay tuned. It's coming mm -hmm. soon. I want you to be a blessing to this woman of God. Be a blessing, please. Be a blessing. This is her cash app information once again. Oh, my God, woman of God, I thank you truly. I thank you, woman of God, for your time. I thank you, woman of God, for your obedience. And you already said, Isaiah 1 and 19, if you be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Yes. Woman of God, you gave us so much manna. You gave us so much meat. You gave us so much word, oh God. God, we thank you. Yes, Father, for her obedience. Oh, give and it shall be given unto you. And everything that she poured out, I pray that she will re receive it a hundredfold, a thousandfold. Yes, I'm, I'm pressing here because I'm pressing here because I know, I know, I know the blessing behind giving. I, I and can mm -hmm. I tell my testimony, woman of God, yes. I haven't worked in two years. <laughs> I haven't worked in two years, wow. but I know it was nobody but God. I have, I hurt myself on the job and, and wherever he has me, he still, <laughs> he wow. still is providing. He still, and he still is providing. And in that, the money that I, I he has blessed me with, I pay my tithes. I give us something, whatever yes. I can give. I give my, my, my leaders, my, my spiritual father, they already know this, but I say all that to say this. He still will watch over his children if you be obedient. Yes. Yes. He yes. still will. Little becomes much when you place it in the master's hand. Yes. And I yes. went from yes. having a lot to a little and he's still providing. Listen to My me, God. people of God. I haven't missed a meal. My car note is still paid. My car insurance is still paid. I still is able to pay the roof over my head. And that's because I sowed a seed my in the famine. God. I sowed a seed in the famine. And when I placed that seed God. in good ground, when I placed that seed in good ground, my God. right in the nick of time, he sprung it up. And now I'm able to sit before you and say, he's still making a way. That sounds like Isaac. Isaac. He's so still, he's still making a way. Yeah. And That's I'm telling you this to say all that. He's still going to make a way for you. Jesus. Little becomes much when he places in the master's hand. And let me just say this. If, if it's, if it's 10 or $15, that ain't enough to pay that bill. So you might as well be a blessing to somebody else because this woman of God, oh my God, this woman of God has poured out on tonight. And I just want you to be a blessing to God be the glory. I want you to be a blessing to her because I know what man, I know it's a blessing to give. Because he has proven it to me over mm -hmm. and over again. Not just these last two years. I'm a giver by nature. I'm a giver by heart. Amen. And there's never been a dull moment when I didn't need it. Money has felt me. Money has came my way. Jesus. I spoke a word and it, it, it manifests itself. Oh my God. I'm telling you as a living witness. The last two years, yes, has been trying, but it, it's, it's, it's kind of bittersweet because I didn't have the finances that I'm used to having. But guess what? <laughs> I'm not without. God spoke to you tonight, though. Shoto Marandi Yasha, he spoke. He he My already God. Yes, woman God. of God, once again, he has revealed it. Yes, he did. He has revealed it, yes, and I did. have received it. In every shape, form, or fashion. Mm. 
And I just thank you, woman of God, for being obedient. Yes, God. Obedience is surely better than sacrifice. Yes, it is. Please, man, woman, sir, boy, if, give, give. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. It's a blessing to give. He gives to, he said, I once was young ha! and now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Never seen the righteous forsaken. Or his no. seed begging for bread. I'm trying to tell you. Yes, Miss Carwell, this was nothing but confirmation. She went beyond the, she, she took us there and to the inner court, the outer court and the holies of holies. She took us there. Wow. And God is well pleased with her servitude on tonight. Thank Thank you, your shot. God is well pleased. Thank you, Jesus. He is well pleased on tonight. I know he came in the form of the dove and sat on her shoulder. My God. And you need to understand that that the oil cost. The oil cost. And you already heard her testimony. She paid dearly for it. But God didn't leave her there. He said, if you make your bed in hell, I'll be there. He didn't leave her there. He girded up her loins. He girded up her loins. Absolutely. She kicked the dust off her hind's feet. She pressed on and ran and see what the end's going to be. Where she's standing and sitting before us today with a mighty word from God. I beseech you, I'm praying, please give to this woman of God. Please give to this woman of God. You will reap the harvest. You will reap the harvest in its due season. Like she said, wait on the process. Yes. Thank you, Father. Yes, Monica Bradley. Thank you, Father. We thank you all for tuning in, click tagging and sharing. Some of y'all are already her followers. And if you're not her followers, please join into her ministry. Begin to follow her. The name of her ministry, her and her husband, Elder Ray, uh, Elder Ray Mathis is Triumph Ministry. Look at the name that God gave her, Triumph Ministry. Mm -hmm. That means she's Abandiosha. She's already triumphed. Yes. She's already triumphed, already triumphed on anything that may come her way. The devil is a liar. Located 3525 Camden Way. Dazelle, South Carolina, 29040. Woman of God, I bless your holy name. I bless you. 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 I I am truly honored that you say yes. I am truly honored that you say yes. And y'all already know how I do up here. We're not going to be before you long anymore, but you you see where you can find her books. I'm trying to promote her stuff because this woman of God is going further. You can purchase her books right here at Amazon. Tapping into the prophetic will. That's Mm -hmm. one. And then the mask of the first lady is also at Amazon. And hold on to your britches because the Kingdom Woman book, <laughs> yes, the Kingdom Woman book is not at Amazon yes. yet, but trust and believe it is coming soon. Stay tuned. Yes, it if is. If you want to be a blessing, please be a blessing to this woman of God. Once again, here's her cash app. Here's her cash app. Give according to thy faith. But I know what the Bible says. Whatever a man soweth, that very thing shall he also reap. I'm telling you, out of obedience, I'm telling you, out of experience, out of a testimony, he will make a way out of no way. Yes. I'm a living witness. And anyone who's up here who know me, they know I haven't worked in two years. Wow. I have the accident happened January the 19th. I mean January the, January the 16th, 2019. It's about to be January 2021. And he has sustained me. Because wow. I'm I'm a giver, because I'm a tither, because I don't mind sowing seed on mm-hmm. good ground. And tonight was good ground. To God be the glory. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um I'm I'm just so full right now. 
to all the viewers, I thank you so much for, for click tagging and sharing and chime in and giving to this woman of God. I thank you all so much. I, I'm truly honored. Go follow this woman. But before we get off this live, like I always do, I don't want none of this to be for naught if we have an extended invitation to discipleship. Because that's what it's truly all about. Hearing someone else's testimony yes. to let you know if they did it, if God did it for that young lady, if God did it for that young man, surely he has no respectable person. Yes. And whatever you make happen for someone else, God will make happen for you. So once again, before we go, I pray now that if there is anyone on this live or who might um, send out an in invite to someone else who might not know God in the free partner of their sin, all you have to do is say, I want to be saved. Just type yes. it in there. If God nudged on you at any time through this broadcast that she was talking to you, the Holy Ghost used her mightily to pull up on you, to come out of darkness, to, to call you up, 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 out of the muck and miry clay. If that's yes. you, if that's you, man and woman of God, now is the time to move. Now is the time for you to give your life to God. And it's not hard at all. It's That's not right. hard at all. All you have to do is just repeat after me. Lift up your hands and repeat after me, which I'm going to repeat Romans 10 and 9. Uh -huh. If you believe in your heart, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised his son from the dead, you yeah. shall be saved. All you have to do, believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that you shall be saved. And I'm not going to even sit up here and lie and say it's going to get easy. No, the devil is mad because you came out of darkness. That's right. But I beseech you for you to keep pressing towards the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Don't look to the right. Don't look to the left. Press. Look towards the hills from which cometh your help, knowing that yes. all your help comes from the Lord. And I promise you, God will never leave you or forsake you. He's going to love up on you even the more. He's going to prune you. Woo! He's going to shape you. He's the potter. Uh -huh. And we're the clay. And I promise you, when, when it's all said and done, when you come out of that thing, you're going to have a testimony. Yep, and you're going to have a closer walk with God. You're going to know God in the free pardon of your sin. That's right. And when this world is passed away, thank you, kind spirit. I don't even know where you you taking me there, but to God be the glory. When this world passed away, yep, uh -huh. and you stand before Yabandiosha, Yabandiosha, you're gonna either hear him say, Well done, thy well good and faithful serpent. You've been faithful over a few things. Now come on up. I'm gonna make you a ruler over many. My God. And the most important part, woman and man of God, that your name ah, be written in the land books of life. <laughs> woman oh of God, God. I, thank, I thank God for you. I thank God for you, for laying every, lay aside every weight that easily besets you. I thank you for pressing. Yes, ma'am. Because it, it's, it's the blessing in the pressing. I thank God for you. And whatever thing that you had to endure, God, I thank God for you. I thank God, Abandiosha, for your birthing season, that you was obedient and yes. it came to fruition. I'm, I'm not going to be up here long, woman. Of, that's it. That's it. We, we, we gave word. We gave scripture. We gave prayer. We exalted. We cried. Yes. We, we was elevated in the spirit. We was encouraged. We was motivated. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Someone got a breakthrough on tonight. I know they did. Someone got a breakthrough. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for all the viewers. And like I said, if your desire is to be saved, just put it in the comments. You can either, if you're in the South Carolina, South Carolina area, please join her ministry. If that is you, man or woman of God, join her ministry. And if you hear local in the Maryland, D.C., Virginia area, you can even reach out to me and I can uh, send an invitation to discipleship on where I go, which is the Temple of Praise International okay. Church, 700 Southern Avenue, Southeast Washington, D.C.
And if that's not good, I'm pretty sure we can find you a local assembly church that is preaching and teaching the gospel. That's right. I thank you all so much for chiming in. I thank you all so much for click tagging and sharing. I thank you all so much coming back at the week after we all for being a blessing to this woman of God. I'm not going to hold you long. Woman of God, if you don't mind, you don't pray this out. So if, if you if you led to pray one more time for a quick two to three minutes to God be the glory. But if not, the spirit of the Lord has already moved and went forward. <laughs> And so, it is well with my soul. It is well. Father, it is well. We thank, you. we thank you right now for just covering each and every one of us that's on thank this you, line. Jesus. Yes. And Father, Lord. we thank you, Lord God, for every person that heard this word. Thank that you. It did not fall on deaf ear. Yes. That you will cultivate tonight. That you will even deal with many in their dreams tonight. We thank pray you, tonight, Lord God, that you will even allow them to see themselves in their destiny. So, Father, we call forth, Lord God, not just a birthing season, but we call forth a manifestation right now in the name of Jesus. In Lord the name God, of those Jesus. things that they have been crying and travailing for. Father, right now, allow these things to come to pass. Allow them, Lord God, for whatever they've been seeking, allow these things to come I'm, 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 right you. now. Father, we just thank you that even when we get these things, when we get these elevations, when we get these promotions, we will say that it is the yes. Lord's doing and thank it's marvelous you, in his sight. In his Father, eyes. we thank promise you, God. to give you all the glory. We promise to acknowledge you. We promise to invite you. And yes, Lord God, for that, we say thank you. So thank Lord you, God, Jesus. tonight, as we leave this place, but never your presence, yes, cover, God. shield, and protect. And it's in your son, Jesus name that I pray. And so shall it be. And so it is. Amen. 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 Once again, viewers, thank you so very much. Once again, I'm here every Tuesday, every Tuesday at 730. You can come and be a part of this ministry. I, I got a saying here. When you click tag and share, you're part of this ministry. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Um, I thank you all viewers for coming on in. Prophetess, if you don't mind, can you stay right there, please? Thank you, woman of God. Yes, I thank you all. Enjoy the rest of your night. To God be the glory. God bless.